The law of karma states unequivocally that though we cannot see the connections, we can be sure that everything that happens to us, good and bad, originated once in something we did or thought. The immature think that knowledge and action are different, but the wise see them as the same. Fear of failure, from being emotionally attached to the fruit of work, is the greatest impediment to success because it robs efficiency by constantly disturbing the equanimity of mind. Selfish action imprisons the world. Act selflessly, without any thought of personal profit. The non-permanent appearance of happiness and distress, and their disappearance in due course, are like the appearance and disappearance of winter and summer seasons. They arise from sense perception, and one must learn to tolerate them without being disturbed. The happiness which comes from long practice, which leads to the end of suffering, which at first is like poison, but at last like nectar, this kind of happiness arises from the serenity of one's own mind. Anyone who is steady in his determination for the advanced stage of spiritual realization and can equally tolerate the onslaughts of distress and happiness is certainly a person eligible for liberation. No one who does good work will ever come to a bad end, either here or in the world to come. Just as the dweller in this body passes through childhood, youth and old age, so at death he merely passes into another kind of body. The wise are not deceived by that. Seek refuge in the attitude of detachment and you will amass the wealth of spiritual awareness. Pleasures conceived in the world of the senses have a beginning and an end and give birth to misery, Arjuna.